god, there's preteens walking behind me. Honestly, I could watch a horror movie, murder documentaries, stuff about serial killers all day, but kids? Scare me. <laughs> Sup, welcome back or to my channel. <laughs> It's 4 p.m. and we're making bad decisions right now. We're getting coffee, a lot of coffee. I was kind of bored today and just wanted to, I just felt like I wanted to film. You, you, you could. I wanted to try the new Starbucks drinks, you know, cause that's original. No one has done that before. <laughs> yeah, I honestly, I haven't been to Starbucks really. I've discovered Dutch Bros. They've honestly won my heart. They just released two new drinks. The new shaken espressos. I've been trying to try them since they dropped. Um, but they keep getting sold out. But they're there today. But I'm also getting the pineapple matcha drink. I don't think that's new, but I've never had it. And I just and you know, if I'm going on a journey today, I might as well try that one too. I've tried matcha one time and I didn't like it. It just tasted like grass in a cup. So maybe the pineapple will make it better. Um, another drink that I know I like because in case I don't like the other two, other three, I want to have something to drink. <laughs> I kind of got a lot, so I ordered on the app instead because the idea of going through a drive through or going in the store and getting all those drinks really, really just set my social anxiety off and I know I'm going to mess it up if I do that. Thought it would be better to play it safe and just order on the app. <laughs> That way it also gives them a little bit of time so they're not rushed with me ordering at the drive-thru and trying to have all that done by the time I get there. One thing I didn't know about the app, I knew you could order online and then pick up in the store. I don't know if this is new or if this was already there and I'm just, you know, late to the game. But now you can pick up your order in the drive-thru. And honestly, that is just absolutely splendid <laughs> should be done by the time i get up there and get through the line uh so let's just i'm just gonna go do that i will see you in the line hopefully they don't ask too many questions otherwise i will get flustered and i'll probably lie and say i got all these drinks for other people hi there welcome to starbucks to come and get going for you hi i'm just picking up my order for sierra yeah we'll see you down here all right thank you thank you it's very exciting. Oh my god. Mask on. Oh god. Okay, I'm so the second. I know it doesn't look like I left, but I did. I just, there was no line. <laughs> I was gonna park in the parking lot nearby, but the parking lot at Starbucks was full. And then I was gonna park across the street. Um, but then there was a guy walking across the street backwards. So I decided maybe just go home. <laughs> I got the drinks, clearly. I got a lot of drinks. Oh my God. I mean, one of the main reasons I kind of stopped going to Starbucks is because they didn't have oat milk. And I feel like once you have oat milk in a drink, you can't really go back. <laughs> First drink, story of the show, is the regular brown sugar oat milk espresso. Only thing that it really is is just espresso over ice with brown sugar, syrup and oat milk i will try it is it raining wow it's about to start raining not about to it is raining it's like dripping it's dropping drip drop oh oh wait there's like cinnamon in it too it tastes like french toast but like less sweet if you don't if you like sweet drinks and you don't like coffee like actual very coffee forward flavor don't get it i know everyone has said that but like it's true yeah but i wait <laughs> i kind of like it tastes like cinnamon french toast like it tastes it tastes exactly like french toast <gasps> that's a problem wait that's really good okay we're off to a great start you know for such a small community there's a lot of freaking people okay my next two drinks i have the the chocolate almond milk shaken espresso and the pineapple matcha i got a, I got a tall in this one just because i really don't know if i like matcha and i didn't want to get a big drink and then waste it and it'd be stupid maybe i'll just try that one and get it out of the way because honestly i don't have high hopes about this chocolate almond milk one either because i don't like chocolate 
and almond milk is nasty okay it smells good it smells like <laughs> it smells like pineapple <laughs> oh my god there's someone else dumping their trash help me jesus should i move or is that dramatic maybe that's dramatic oh she had a poop bag <laughs> she had a poop bag that's what that was all right yeah i'm just gonna tr let's just stop talking and just do it huh i don't love it it doesn't taste like matcha like i had before it almost tastes like cleaning stuff <sighs> yeah i don't like it <laughs> I don't know why I keep sipping it. Like someone made a fruity drink and then accidentally put like a few blades of grass and blended it up. Like it feels like a prank. This tastes like a prank. That's what this tastes like. Like you would give to someone and be like, I made you a drink. And they'd be like, hmm, good. And you're like, <laughs> you drink grass, stupid. I don't like it. I don't like it. So now I'm just gonna do the chocolate almond milk espresso. I don't have high hopes for this because again, I don't like chocolate. It's not my thing. I know, everyone loves chocolate. I'm trying to have an open mind. Everyone is going to the trash, what the fuck? Oh my God. Okay, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, I moved. Should I move or is that dramatic? Maybe that's dramatic. There was just a lot of car movements over there happening. And apparently over here too. So I just moved directly in front of my building, away from the dumpsters. Um, but now I'm just directly in front of my neighbor's window. But it's okay, because they're old, and one of them is blind. So don't have to worry about him seeing me. Okay. <laughs> All right, now enough talking about it. Let's try this chocolate one. Oh. Wait. That tastes like something. Ooh. I'm going through a lot right now. I don't know what's happening. What is this? It definitely tastes like chocolate, and I don't like chocolate. So that might be why I'm having such a strong reaction to it. It tastes like if you took chocolate milk and then put extra, like, cocoa powder in it. Bitter chocolate milk. That's It tastes like bitter chocolate milk. It's kind of powdery, too. Yeah, no. It's a no for me. No, thank you. I mean, those are the only three. What is happening? Oh my God, that drink really messed me up. <laughs> those are the only three drinks that I actually got that are try worthy. What? That I haven't tried. Anyway, but the drink that I did get because I know I like it is the uh, salted caramel cold foam cold brew. They took it away for a while. And then when I was ordering those, I saw that it was back. And I got really excited because this, oh my gosh, this one is really good. It's, it is a little bit sweeter, so I don't always get it because I don't like sweet drinks. I like, I actually like coffee. I want my coffee to taste like coffee, but your girl's about to start her period. So this kind of sounds good right now. Yeah, that's it. Oh my gosh. I almost spilled a lot of coffee in the car. The only thing I will say is they're kind of pricey. Each of these is like almost $6. And this is a grande and it was almost $6. Whereas this is a venti and it was like $4.50. I don't know if, if like some espresso over ice with oat milk and sugar really is worth $6. I don't know if I'll get it again. It would have to be like a I'm craving it kind of thing to get it again. I don't know. I just can't justify $6 for some espresso. <laughs> I'd give the brown sugar one a uh, six out of 10, cause it's good. It's just, it's not worth the price. I don't, it's just not really worth the price. The chocolate one, I'm probably biased cause I don't really like chocolate. So I'm probably biased because of that, but I'd give that one like honestly a three out of 10. <laughs> I, I really don't like that one. The pineapple matcha, I don't know. Like, I keep sipping it, so I don't know what that means, but I don't actually like it. So I'd give that one, like, a five. So, like, that cold brew, the salted caramel cold brew that I get, and then their Irish cream cold brew. 
probably the only few the only two things that i get at starbucks anymore other than like on the rare occasion that i'll get like a green tea but i'm just not a tea person i really only get green tea because you know it um we'll just say it helps with your digestive system but yeah i just kind of wanted to do a chill video today and i saw that starbucks had those i had been trying for three days to get it might as well try and taste it so that's really it it's raining it's dark <laughs> as you can see and it's supposed to be like this for the next foreseeable future i'm so oh my god i'm so excited it's about to be daylight savings time and it's going to be brighter outside it's going to be sunny longer sunny enough for you know to do absolutely i mean honestly is that even exciting because we still can't even do anything <laughs> so it's just gonna be sunnier out while i'm sitting in my house <laughs> Well, I mean, we can go hiking and uh, outdoor things. <sighs> anyway, yeah, that's really all I have. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Tell me what your favorite go-to drink is, whether it's at Starbucks or not. Oh, if you've also tried these, did you like it? I hope you have a good rest of your day or week. Well, both. I hope, you good. I hope you have a good day and week. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe, like, you know, do the things. Do do whatever it is you gotta do at the bottom if you feel like it. No, no pressure. Oh, God. Oh, There's a lot going on. <laughs> All right. Well, goodbye. <laughs>